Hi everyone, today we're going to look at different ways you can control your vMix production. Now like most other PC programs, vMix allows you to control the interface with the keyboard and mouse. So you can use these to control all the aspects of vMix. So the easiest way to use vMix is to use your mouse. So if we bring up the desktop capture so you can move it around, you can click on different things to bring into preview, you can go to all the different menus and the settings, you can add inputs and all that kind of st stuff by using the mouse. VMIX is added to this functionality by creating something called shortcuts. Now shortcuts allow you to program buttons on keyboards and different devices to perform functions in VMIX. During this video we're going to be talking about shortcuts quite a lot. So we have an in-depth shortcuts tutorial that you can check out on our YouTube page or there should be a link clicking up here soon or that side, I'm not sure. So the most basic way to set up shortcuts with a device is to use your normal keyboard. So for a quick example, you could use the number row on your keyboard in order to program different inputs, say 1 to 10, or different cameras, 1 to 4. You could also set it up to press R to record, or S to start streaming. It's really easy to set up, so I'll show you the uh, desktop capture again. And you just go to Settings, Shortcuts, and this is where you set them up. So these are the list of any ones you've got set up already. And then we go to Add, and then we can, from the drop down, we can select a key. We can find a key, so we'll press the W key. What we want to do is we want it to do a fade to the desktop capture. We can give it a title if we want to and a description as well. So we have the, like I said, we have a full shortcuts uh, video. So now we have that set up. So if we go back to our main camera here, when I press W on the keyboard, perform a shortcut. So yeah, that's just how simple it is to set up shortcuts with your keyboard. Now, vMix has over 200 shortcuts uh, in the, the function menu, so you can pretty much set up your keyboard to do anything that you like there. Creating shortcuts in vMix can help streamline your entire production. So instead of navigating around with your mouse, you can just press a button on a keyboard or a device. It also makes it easier to hand off production duties to someone else. You can create a list for them to do and say, you just need to press this button to start the stream, press this button to change the camera, and press this button to overlay a title. So basically three or four buttons and you've got yourself a production going. In this video, we're going to look at other devices that you could use to control your video production. These include MIDI devices, X keys, shuttle pros, Xbox controllers, and also phones and tablets that you can use with the vMix web controller. If you've ever seen one of our videos, you'll notice that we're always talking about MIDI devices, X keys, um, Xbox controllers, or shuttle pros. And that's because they're an easy and awesome way to control your entire vMix video production. You can program these buttons to control your entire show. Basically, if you can press a button, you can run a production. Now that's a slogan that I'm trying to uh, pursue. Uh, so instead of spending thousands of dollars on control surfaces, you can spend a fraction of that and have the ability to control and set out your keys exactly how you want. You can define each key to perform any function that you might require in your situation. And you can program button to do common tasks such as switching cameras, overlaying titles, um, audio, video. But you can also let it do uh, different things like stopping and starting the streaming, saving presets, changing scores on a scoreboard, controlling instant replay, using PTZ cameras. So think of something that you're doing all the time in vMix and think, oh, I wish I could just press a button. Chances are you probably can. So check out our um, shortcut functions list. Firstly, we're going to talk about MIDI devices. MIDI is a protocol that stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, which was created to allow electronic instruments and other digital musical tools to communicate with each other. Now, vMix has adopted the MIDI protocol in order for MIDI devices to communicate with your vMix video production. vMix will recognize when a button is pressed on the MIDI device and then perform any shortcut that you've got set up in vMix. You might see MIDI devices all around the place, so different musicians and DJs use them. The good thing about MIDI devices are, is that they're fairly inexpensive, they're robust, lightweight, connected via USB, and you might actually know somebody that has an old one lying around that you could use or borrow. They range in price and function, and there are plenty of brands on the market. Some may have more buttons, some may have more audio controls, and other ones might be wireless. As you can see, we have a huge range of MIDI devices in our office that we use for different purposes. So what's so great about MIDI devices? Well, you can press any button on the MIDI device to perform a function in vMix, just like you would with an expensive control surface. So set up a row for camera preview and camera output, 
set up your titles, all of your images and video assets. And then all you need to do is press a handful of buttons to run your entire production. This makes it easy to hand off your production to someone else. Like we mentioned before, just write them a note that lists their entire production workflow. Most people should be able to follow the list with just a press of a few buttons. It makes the whole video production process really simple. Another great thing about MIDI devices is that they're very easy to set up. They're USB based plug and play, so you just need to plug them into your vMix computer, wait for the drivers to install, and then go into the activators and shortcuts section of vMix to enable your MIDI device just like this. You'll be able to select it from the list and then you'll be able to enable that MIDI or X keys device. Next up, we're going to look at X keys. X keys is a product created by PI Engineering that provide users with devices that are covered with keys. These devices come in a range of sizes from just four keys right up to 128. Different models come with different functions too, including T-bars and shuttle wheels. They're lightweight, they're USB based, and they're really easy to use in vMix. X keys have the advantage that you can label your keys. So you can actually write on them the exact function that they do. This makes the process a whole lot easier. So easy that our monthly live show uses an X keys device for the entire show. So here's how I do it. Basically, all I do is press this giant button up here that says intro. And then what that's going to do is play our intro video. And then it's going to fade back to our main camera. So I have a trigger set up to fade back to our main camera. And sometimes I'll have uh, the titles and stuff display as well. So all I have to do is press one button and it will perform three functions for me. So I'll press the button. So here we are, it's playing our intro video, and then it's going to use a trigger and play, go back to our main camera. We also use this to turn on our microphones and sometimes to add titles as well. And here we are, back again. So that's played our, with the press of a button, it's played the video and it's transferred back to this main camera here. So that's the great thing about shortcuts is you can have it do multiple things. So I also have a bunch of different things set up as well. So um, I have different cameras set up. So if I cross to this one, just by the press of a button. So as you can see here on our X keys controller, we have a whole, we have all of our production stuff set up. So all of our cameras, our titles, our videos, overlays, audio, microphones, all that kind of stuff is set up on an X keys device, uh, which makes it really easy for us. But we've used MIDI devices before on our show. Um, so you can use any sort of control device available in vMix. Now we mainly use ours for, like I mentioned before, with the videos, overlays, for video production stuff, and we worry about our audio within vMix. So we set that up before the show, we don't adjust it. However, uh, a lot of these MIDI devices like the, uh, the X-Touch have uh, further um, audio knobs and sliders and that sort of thing if you wanted to control audio volumes. As we've been talking about in this video, a shortcuts are a way to press a button on a MIDI device and then have a function perform in vMix. Now as of vMix 18, we've also added something called activators. Now activators allow you to send a response back from vMix to the device itself. So if I wanted to display a light when a certain camera is in the output, I can do that. If I want my motorized audio faders to move when I adjust them in vMix, I can do that too with the X touch here. We have full videos on how to set up activators um, and they're listed in the description or up here somewhere. They're set up in the settings section of vMix, uh, like the shortcuts. So I'll quickly cut to the um, activators section here. So as you can see, we've got some set up to add one. You go to find the, the button again, like we did before. Then you can select an event. So whether it's the default color for all of the keys or, or a particular key, the input, so if when it's in the input, or overlays, all that kind of stuff, if it's recording, streaming, um, and then you can set the type. So you need to know the MIDI device type that you've got. So whether it's an Akai, Behringer, Novation, X keys, and then you can set the color of the key as well. So as you can see, we have a couple set up here, which I'm just gonna quickly show you a video of. So when I switch cameras, you'll notice that the different lights change. So when I've got number one is the main camera and two is the other camera, when it switches, the lights will change. Okay, so Xbox controllers, yes, Xbox controllers work in vMix as well. So if you've got an Xbox, an old Xbox 360 controller lying around, you can plug it in via USB and you can actually set up shortcuts for it in vMix as well. So you could give a young person, someone that's used to using an Xbox controller and say, hey, press the A button or press the Y button to change camera to overlay a title or something like that. It's that easy. And they're great for using the PTZ shortcuts as well. 
So I'll show you how to, to use that. So we'll set up, we'll bring across the... Um, so this is our PTZ camera that we've got set up. So we've got our controller and I've set that up. So I'm using an Xbox controller to zoom in, zoom out and move around all with an Xbox. So it's just like a video game, kind of. Okay, so all of these functions with all these different devices work with all the different shortcuts in vMix, but sometimes with instant replay, you might want something to go frame by frame or change the speed of the replay. So you can use uh, one of these uh, shuttle pros here that have a jog shuttle wheel in the center or something like the X key shuttle, which has a movable center. Um, so you can go frame by frame a lot easier with those. vMix also gives you the ability to use your phone or tablet to control your production. This is done through the vMix web controller. The vMix web controller allows you to control your production through a web browser. That means you can load it up on a tablet or a phone that has a browser available or even a local computer. It's easy to use. You just need to connect your device to the local network, enter the web controller URL listed in the vMix settings, and then you'll be able to access your whole production. You can use shortcuts, control of your inputs, and even change titles. We have a full video tutorial available on YouTube and it's listed in the description below. It's another great way to hand off duties to another person. You can give them a, a selected list of shortcuts that they can program on their phone or they can change cameras or have somebody change titling on their phone or tablet. Finally, as we mentioned before, vMix shortcuts work great with triggers. Now triggers allow you to set up different functions on an input. So like we showed before with the input that I played, the intro video, after the intro video finished, it came back to our main camera. So you can set up a shortcut to do something, but then you can also set up triggers as well to do multiple things with one button. So we have a full video on triggers on our YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It just makes, again, makes the whole process of um, video production a lot easier. So basically, I can press one button and it can perform multiple things within vMix. So that's a quick look at all the different types of control that you can have in vMix 18. Uh, as with most things in vMix, this may change as we you know, add enhancements to vMix. As you can tell by the amount of MIDI devices and controllers, X keys that we have on our table, there are plenty of different options out there available for you. So they all range in different size, the amount of buttons they have, sliders, faders, and all that kind of thing. So if you have any questions before purchasing, send us through an email to our contact page or he head over out to our forums to ask some questions. So don't forget to check out our shortcuts video, our triggers video, um, in order to, to help set up your MIDI devices. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.